Hello Year 4, in science today we'll be beginning our new science topic and that will be eating and digestion. To start with we're going to look at classifying and identifying carnivores, herbivores and omnivores. But first of all I want you to have a think for a moment, maybe a two minutes or so. Why do we eat? Why do we need to eat? Pause the video, have a chat if there's anyone nearby or just have your thoughts to yourself please. Off you go. Okay, so you might have had lots of different suggestions on why we eat, but one reason why we eat is because our bodies need this energy from food to be able to move and to be able to grow and to be big and strong. Now, our bodies use up lots of energy all the time, even without us knowing. So we could be sat still, doing something maybe if we're just listening to someone or even just at home watching the television, and our bodies are using lots and lots of energy. And this energy we need from food. And if we don't eat, our body doesn't get the energy it needs to be able to carry out those functions appropriately and properly. But it's really also important that we do eat the right foods too and we don't just fill our body with foods that aren't going to be good for us because even though we are eating we won't get the energy from them. If you don't eat properly you can actually start to feel quite tired and quite ill and this is because your body isn't getting the right nutrients it needs to stay healthy. Now you can see a picture in the right hand corner of this screen and this is of a family and you can see that they're eating a meal. Now this meal is quite a healthy meal. I would like you to pause the video and see what types of food they're eating. Can you see what they're eating and maybe even categorise them into their food groups please? Off you go. Okay, fantastic. So you might have said lots of things. You might have spotted the salad on the table. You might have spotted the chicken in the middle. There's lots and lots of things there and you might have even categorised them into their food groups. Now as well as hu uh, humans needing food for their energy, also animals do too. They need to eat to survive. But different animals don't all eat the same thing. They eat different things because those nutrients are good for them and they help them stay healthy. Now on the screen I've got two animals here. I've got a sheep on the left and a sparrow on the right. What do you think might be similar or different about the diet of these two animals? What does the word diet mean? Can you please tell the screen? Fantastic. Diet is what they eat, okay? What they consume, what they eat, all right? So, what do you think might be different about these animals and their diet? Can you say something to the screen, please? Maybe there's something you know about sheep and sparrows. Ah, so sheep, we can see they're eating grass, and that is mostly what their diet consists of. Whereas a sparrow eats a variety of things. A sparrow eats insects, seeds, and things like that. So that's what's different about these two animals. If we move on to the next one, on the left we've got a frog, and on the right we've got a dolphin. Same thing again year four, what do you think might be similar or different about their diets? Can you just have a think and then say something to the screen please? Off you go. Brilliant. So I heard lots of you saying that dolphins eat other animals. Now dolphins do. They might eat lots of animals like fish, okay, and sea creatures. And frogs, they do eat insects too. So they both are similar because they both eat other animals and that's what makes them similar. For this one, on the left we've got a fox and on the right we've got a cat. Same thing then, What? how are their diets similar and how are their diets different year four? I can hear lots of you saying lots of different things with this one. Yeah, you're right, cats do eat cat food, but they also eat animals too but they eat animals smaller than them. We're going to learn a little bit about that in our next lesson about food chains and why animals eat certain animals. But foxes do eat that too. Foxes eat other animals too. Okay? So, we've looked at a few animals and what they eat and what's similar and what's different about their diet. Hopefully you've been introduced to these words before, so let's just have a refresh and see if you know what they mean. If I said to you, this animal is a herbivore. What do you think that means? Have a think, tell the screen. Mm, okay. A herbivore is an animal that eats plants. Now the way I remember this year for is it has the word herb here. And hopefully you all know what herbs are. So herbs, that reminds me of herbivore and that's how I know that herbivore 
is that animals eat plants and that's what helps me to remember so if it helps me it could help you too does anyone know what the word carnival means if i said this animal is a carnival what does that mean do you know mm, okay a carnival is an animal that eats meat okay now omnivore who knows what omnivore means? If a herbivore is an animal that eats plants and a carnivore is an animal that eats meat, what do you think is an omnivore? Absolutely, an omnivore is an animal that eats both plants and meat. So, we have just sorted them into three groups. Carnivores mostly eat meat, which actually mostly comes from the flesh, so the bodies of the animals. Herbivores eat plants, and this includes leaves, fruit and seeds, and omnivores eat both plants and meat. Hopefully that was just a refresh, but hopefully now we all, we all remember what they are. Now, we know all living things need to eat. What do you think this animal eats? Tell the screen please. Yes, you're absolutely right. A robin eats insects and worms, and they also eat fruit, seeds, peanuts and a little bit of grated cheese. Does that mean a robin is an omnivore, herbivore or a carnivore? Can you tell the screen? Absolutely. A robin is an omnivore. It eats both plants and meat. Well done. What do you think a tortoise eats here for? Have a look at its environment right now. Tell the screen. Great. So a tortoise and turtles both eat plants. Now if they both eat plants, is that an omnivore, a herbivore or a carnivore? Tell the screen please, go. Herbivore, great job. Okay, next one, a shark. What do you think a shark eats here for? Okay, so a shark eats fish and other animals that live in the sea, a bit like a dolphin. So is a shark an omnivore, a herbivore or a carnivore? You're absolutely right, a shark is a carnivore. And finally, I think this is the last one. What do you think a lion needs to eat to survive? Tell the screen, please. Lions eat other animals, such as giraffes and zebras. So even though zebras are pretty big too, the lions still want them as their prey. Okay, and that's a special word we need to remember too, the prey. So is a lion a carnivore, a herbivore, or an omnivore? What do you think? Is it an omnivore? No, why not? Ah, because they don't eat plants too and an omnivore eats meat and plants. So you're right, it's just a carnivore. Good spotting. Okay, just before I set you off onto your activity, can you have a go thinking to yourself or telling someone who might be next to you, what kind of food do you eat and which diet do you think you have? Are you a carnivore, a herbivore or an omnivore? Off you go, please. Pause the video. Okay. So, humans are naturally omnivores because our bodies are made for eating meat and plants. But we know that some, choo some humans choose not to eat meat. Some humans are vegan, some humans are vegetarian. So that means not everyone is an omnivore, but we are made to be an omnivore, okay? So if you said something different, don't worry, but we are all made to be omnivores. Quick quiz. So, number one, why do all animals, including humans, need to eat? What is the difference between an omnivore, carnivore and a herbivore? And can you identify one animal that is a herbivore, one animal that is a carnivore and one animal that is an omnivore? Can you pause the video and write your answers down somewhere please and we will mark them in a minute. Off you go. Okay, so why do all animals, including humans, need to eat? Can you tell the screen please? That's right. If we don't eat, our body doesn't get the energy it needs to carry out its functions. So we don't get the energy that we need. However, you need to make sure we are eating the right foods, else what might happen? We might get tired and a little bit ill. Next one then. What is the difference between an omnivore, a carnivore and a herbivore, please? Can you tell the screen? Fantastic. An omnivore eats meat and plants, everything. Carnivores eat just meat and herbivores, that word herb, eat just plants. Finally then, can you identify one animal that is a herbivore, one animal that is a carnivore and one that is an omnivore? Tell the screen please, off you go. 
Okay, so we might have had different views for this one. So I've got three down. You might have one of these, but if you don't, you can double check by asking someone you know, or maybe even Googling it yourself to see if you were correct. One animal that is a herbivore, I've got horses, rabbits, and tortoise, and even turtles too. One animal that is a carnivore, a lion, a tiger, or a cat, and an omnivore, foxes, bear, and robins. But also, we're uh, omnivores too, aren't we? Okay. Now, your task for today, you're going to be seeing a Venn diagram. And that is going to be on your resources. I would like you to follow the instructions that are on the sheet and complete the activities that are there for you, please. Thank you very much and I will see you in our next lesson.